And family, I want to propose to you that sometimes slavery, we can be in slavery captivity hostage to fear. Fear can absolutely control. And I, I recognize that, you know, there's a fear of the Lord, and that's, a, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. We should have the fear of the Lord. However, I also recognize that we individuals, some people, sometimes me, we let fear make our final decision. And if we're doing that, then be assured that we are hostage to fear. We are living in bondage. We're not living in freedom. I'll give you an example, and I've said this before, but I remember in my early 20s, I came home from college, middle of the semester, it was Christmas time, and, and uh, I told my parents, I'm like, I'm not going back to school. And they're like, you know, that's nice. Get her some, like, you know, food and sleep, and she'll be fine. She'll change her mind. But the longer I was home, the more intensely convinced I'm not going back. And I'll never forget sitting on the counter at my old house and up there, and my dad's all up in my grill. What is your deal? I'm not going back, and you can't make me. You can hear, like, then he's like, Sarah, this is ridiculous. I mean, he's just getting after it. And pretty soon, I'm starting to break down. I'm sobbing and crying. You can't make me go back. I don't want to go back. And I can hear it, right? And my dad's like, what is your deal? And I'm like, you know, I just don't want to go back. I can just stay here. I go to CSU. I'll be local. I can hear you know, it. I'll come over weekends. You know, you can hear it. And my dad was like, you know what? You're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid to go back to school. And Sarah, if you run from fear now, it will chase you for the rest of your life. It will dominate your decisions. And I'll never forget. <laughs> that was like one of those, like, man, hit me like a two by four. And I'll never forget driving back. And I drove back to, I was going to ORU at the time. And at that time, it was 55 miles an hour through Kansas. <laughs> it was everything I could do to not turn around. <laughs> like, ugh. And it was grit. It put grit in me. Because I never wanted to be controlled. I never wanted fear to dominate and make my decisions. But family, I want to tell you, fear is a, is a horrible taskmaster. I watch people who are under the domination, the bondage of fear... And I think some of us in the room, some of us online, we struggle. It is, it is a major, major obstacle for us. We're going to talk about and pray about that, that God would help us to walk in freedom, freedom over fear.